Today on Wooden Stuff, we're going to make the long-awaited 24-piece Starburst puzzle. These look great in single color, in two-tone, and my new favorite, the tri-color Starburst. I gotta say, I am loving how the tri-color turned out. That looks very cool. <laughs> Our burst puzzle consists of two dozen pieces. We have six long pieces, and we have 18 short pieces. Okay. The, the notches are all laid out and cut exactly as I explained in this video about making the six-piece notched burr. We use an adjustable bevel set at exactly 55 degrees. And I use that to draw and lay out the, the, the notches. Then it creates an opening that's 90 degrees, but only when measured in respect to the corner. With respect to a face, as you can see, the cut is not the, the 90 degrees. So that's why it's got to be laid out at 55 degrees then it must be cut with the piece stood on corner and then cut at 45 degree angle with respect to the blade. We need th three long pieces okay, that are cut exactly like the two long pieces in our double star burr as explained in this video. Okay, So it's the same thing as how we lay out our regular two notch pieces. Okay, As you see, there's two notches there. There's the third notch and a fourth notch. Okay. So with all of these notched burrs that I've shown you, between each notch, I left about one sixteenth of an inch gap. Okay, right there, there, and there, and of course there, and, and all the others. Okay. Now at the at end, the, the inside of the notch, there is no gap. Okay, those cuts come and meet right up to each other. So we've got three of them with one row of four notches. So these pieces have got all of their notches cut. So I'm going to set those aside for right now. We also need one long piece that has only two notches. Now, those notches are situated so that they're exactly where they would be if we were doing a four-notch long piece. The only difference is we do not cut out the notch on each end. So, we have the three long with four notches. We have one long with two notches at the innermost positions. Then, our last two long pieces, they start off the same as those having four notches, but they need one extra notch. And that's going to go between the innermost notches on each of these pieces. So we're going to cut out here and here. And that technique is also explained in this video about making my double star burr. I've got to cut out those two notches, and then these pieces will have all of their notches. Now, as far as our short pieces go, we need three of them to have only the two notches. And as you can see, these three are just going to set aside. Those are done. Now, we have one piece that is going to act as a key. This piece has no notches, and it is the exact same length as our short two-notch pieces. So that piece is done. It gets no notches. 
Now the re remaining short pieces, okay, and there are 14 of these, right between the two notches, I'm going to cut a third notch on each of these 14 short pieces. The star burst puzzle works only if you add the so-called star enhancements to each end of each piece, as explained in this video. And now that we're done using power tools, we may safely enjoy a nice cold adult beverage. Here's our completed starburst. Now this, my friend, is awesome. Now if you need assistance in assembling your starburst, and I'm thinking you might, there's a link in the description below. Just click it and it'll take you to a step-by-step -step tutorial. Now get up, go in your shop, make a starburst, and until next time, thanks for watching.